Welcome to today's video. I'm the Hooded Lid and today I'm continuing on with my very short series of Inspired By slash Made Me By. Today will be Made Me By it, and today is one of my very favorite people on YouTube. I just love her personality and her sense of humor and at the same time no nonsense. I just really really like her. Her name is Kinky Sweat. Well that's not actually her name that's you know her channel name, Alicia at Kinky Sweat. I had a old person moment for a minute there. It's Alicia at Kinky Sweat who did a video on the CQ Fox and I was mesmerized. I'm like, I must, I must. It's hard with CQ because CQ is not available in the United States. You have to get it from somewhere in Europe and as far as I can tell England and Paris are the only places where you can get it in Europe. So there's some other places in the world, but that's what it is. Interestingly, I went to the Sukiu site and I went to the Cult Beauty site and I went to the Selfridges site and they don't describe what the colors are and they don't have swatches. I did find a swipe swatch for each one at Selfridges, so that is a little bit helpful, but I'm going to drop in what I got on the CQ site. As you can see, this isn't really much to go on. I ended up getting three colors, so the first color I got a couple of weeks ago, and that was number two, and I got number one, and three, and four, and this is them all together. I'm going to do lip swatches and hand swatches so you can get an idea of what they are. These have names by number and by actual names which I will not pronounce but I will put it right down here in the subtitle so you know what you're looking for. Let me read you a little bit about it from Sukyu. I believe I got this on the Sukyu site and there's something in my eyes so I literally cannot see out of one of my eyes. <laughs> A unique twist on a classic liquid lipstick finish. This comfort lip fluid fog from CQ boasts comfortable wear and dramatic payoff that's likened to a soft, foggy finish. The formula behind the soft focus effect is impressively hydrating. It's made with viscosity oil, which is not a thing, for a hit of hydration that encourages a smooth and even finish, the oil settles into an undetectable film that helps the bold color last comfortably all day plus. It also helps to prevent ever dreaded creasing available in seven bewitching tones. Get ready to fall for this soft matte formula. So there's no such thing as a viscosity oil. Viscosity uh, speaks to well, viscosity and oil is an oil. The viscosity oil isn't a thing. Um, I have tried these a couple of times and I will say this. If you have dry lips, you're not going to be very happy. So I wore these yesterday and it's been dry here and I've been feeling a little bit dry and it was a little uncomfortable. So in preparation for today, I did put some of this on and I'm just looking at my camera going why is everything so darn dark I might have to change my setting all right change my setting this what I'm looking at in my monitor which is my computer which is hooked up to my camera it looks very close to what I see in my mirror here after it renders into YouTube who knows but I did find out you guys if you followed me for some time you've heard me crank about why it doesn't look the same on YouTube as it does on my computer after I render it, that Firefox doesn't look as good as Safari. So just, you know, a random fact. My lips, I'm going to put a little bit more of this on before we start and then we'll do the hand swatches. All right, let's do hand swatches. This is number one. This is what she looks like. On many of the sites I went to, this is all you see. There is no swatch, there is no nothing. And here we have number one. This is number two. You have may have seen this on me if you watch my videos. And that's more like a raspberry kind of a red-ish, pink-ish thing. Number three. Number 
there she goes. If you compare one to three, I would say there's a little bit more of a plummy to mauve ness in this one, and maybe a little bit more um, red-brown to this one. And number four is more of a pink tone. There we go. So these three are pretty dark, uh, but I do think a little more grayish going on here. This is, um, well, I've already told you what I think. What do I think? Let's start with the lightest one, which is number four. Now they say for the directions to stir around with the wand, which is strange, because you know if I did this every time I used it, I'm going to end up breaking the wand. I just know it. And just start in the center and then move out. Now the doe foot applicator is kind of thin. It's rounded at the top and I think that if you have, you know, perfect lips and you don't want to line, this might offer you enough precision not to have to line. I feel that this color on me needs a liner because it, I don't know, it just doesn't feel quite right. Victoria Beckham, number three, and I'm just going to do something very quick. And again, it's this one, and on my lips, I think this is a lovely kind of everyday look that you could probably do year-round. There's nothing particularly spring or fall about it. It's just a good color. If this goes with your skin tone and it just makes you feel happy, I think probably you're around with this. They do feel comfortable, and I've mentioned this before. There is a cushy nature to it, but like I said yesterday, my lips were so dry. And when I do this, everything starts to peel off. It doesn't mean this did it to me. It means your lips kind of have to be in good shape before you put this on. This formula is very diff is very similar to the formula for this, which is the Burberry, and the formula for, I might have put it away, this, the Charlotte Tilbury. Revlon makes one like this as well, as does Giorgio Armani. So it's one of those moussey formulas. I found that this does not stay all day, even though they say it's all day wear. Absolutely not. This I wore yesterday, and not only did it not stay, I didn't feel that it stained either. So, you know, some things they don't stay all day, but they leave, they impart some color on your lips, so you have something going on there. This particular color didn't. So there's only two things in here that I've worn, you know, all day, and that is this one and the first one I got, which is number two. Let's go on to number three. Stirring it around. And look how pretty this packaging is. Like there's a little gold here and a little gold here. It's so subtle. And they didn't have to do that. If they wanted to have that goldness, they just could have put a little rim right here. I don't know what else you would call it. And up here. But they went the extra mile. Of course, they're not inexpensive, so they should. But I find the packaging to be elegant and um, simple. Simply elegant. Now this is the tone that I think is a little more mauve -y. And you could probably see my lips, like most most white women, I think. I mean, I hate to say that because there's nothing similar about everybody. But we tend to have mauve in our lips, which is i.e. blue. So a color like this could just be everyday color. I like this, actually. I haven't tried this on yet. So, hmm, I do think that this is an everyday color, probably year-round. If you work in an office, for instance, no problem wearing this every day and feeling put together. A teeny bit dark. I wonder if I can pat some off with my finger. I don't want to go in with the tissue because I don't want little pieces of tissue on my lips and make it a little bit more like a, a hint of color. I think that's a, a little bit better. So dabbed on, I mean, it feels a little bit different. You still have that cushy nature, but it's not quite as thick. And for some people that might be more enjoyable. 
um, be curious to see if this color would stain because the light pink one did not, the first one I did. Let's go on to number two. I can't believe I said that. Okay, this did, just for the two minutes that I had it on, leave a little bit color on my lips and I am not mad about it. So I, I really like that idea for an everyday. So number two is the one that I tried on in another video. Stir it up and I consider it to be really kind of similar to this Chanel that I really love. I almost got away with not saying really. Hmm. Actually love? In that both of them I believe are not actually red, <laughs> but they are a deep, 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 deep pink. That's what I think. So this is kind of lightly on. I still see my lips beneath it, but I wanted to show you this before I go full opaque. Opaque. I like this one too. I'm going to compare it to this. So this is a limited edition. It's a Rouge Allure liquid from Chanel. And I will write down the name. I think it might be a little bit darker. There it is. So it is, in fact, darker. But I, I feel that the color tone is very, very similar. For instance, if you look at this compared to this, obviously darker. But if you compare it to this, different color. If you compare it to this, different color. You compare it to this, different color. So I do think these are incredibly similar. So if you like that, but it's uncomfortable, maybe you'll like this. And now let's try, I have to say it because I said it for everything else, number one. Yes. Now my lips are feeling a little bit dry, so I'm going to go in with a teeny bit more of this serum. It's from Naturally Serious, and it's just feeds your lips rather than putting a veil of something over it. It feels like it sinks in. And while I'm doing this, I will say, I haven't worn this under a mask, but my impression is based on its consistency, it would get all over your mask. This is not transfer proof. So I've seen it on cups, coffee cups. Um, I've seen it on forks. You know what I mean? It's not going to really stay put, even though they say it does. And some of them will stain, so you will have some color, but some of them won't. You don't have to leave this on for a long time. You can just dab it, have a little bit left on, and, and boom. And here we have I really like this color too. So as I mentioned, the only things that I had tried were two and four. So one and three I hadn't. This to me is definitely fall and winter. But unlike so many other lip colors I consider fall and winter, it's not necessarily berry with a lot of blue in it, which can make me look I, a little peaked somehow, a little ill, <laughs> if you will. But this one, I feel, is fall, but fresh. It's not too dark. It doesn't deaden my face. It you know, doesn't make me look like I just woke up from a crypt. I really enjoy this color as well. And you guys, there it is. So we have hand swatches, and I'll do that one more time. We have lip swatches, how they look with my skin tone, which my foundation colors are listed below, so you can get an idea of what you're dealing with here, I have a little bit of yellow in my skin, but not a lot. And I have surface redness, which I try to cover. I consider myself to be neutral in undertone. And these are the beautiful, beautiful lipsticks or lip fogs from Suq, which you can buy, I think at Harrods. I got mine at Selfridges. Cult Beauty also sells them. There's probably a couple of other places you can get them. SuQ themselves does not sell, so you can go to their website to look at pictures, but that's all you're going to get, and I think the pictures are the same as the pictures at the department store's websites, and you can get it in Paris. I don't know why. I don't know where, because it didn't say. It just, when I looked on the list, it said you could, and other places 
throughout the world. You just can't get them here. That's my point. You can't get them here. But they are lovely, they are comfortable, and I think that they have a sophistication to them. It, it, it doesn't slap you in the face saying, how dare you, I'm sophisticated. It's a quiet elegance. I think of elegance, and if you think of elegance in, in, as it, it applies to math, and I'm not a mathematician, or good in math in any way, but I know that f complex formulas, um, writing computer code, uh, that kind of stuff, Oftentimes, well, okay, let's take out the computer code because I can't say that, but I had a friend who owned a company that took a very, very elegant precept where people were trying to complicate things that didn't need to be there, and when you let all of it fall away, the power of this idea was its simplicity and elegance, and it was a very successful company for a while. <laughs> And uh, that's what I think of these. They're, they're, it's a simple elegance because you don't need to make things too complicated. I really like it. And I forgot to take pictures for everyone. I Okay. <laughs> Thank you so much for spending a few minutes with me. Thank you so much to Alicia at Kinky Sweat for buying a bunch of these and putting them on and making my think, OMG, I'm gonna have to buy this. I'm not very happy about it. It was she who made me do it. And uh, yeah, thanks for being here. I hope it was helpful to you. I hope you come back again. Until we meet again, be safe and be smart. And I'm wishing you good health. <laughs>